I think, I think our time is our most valuable possession. And there's all these companies and organizations out there trying to take it from us. But we all have this ability to actually create amazing, immersive, meaningful experiences for, for each other. Stone Soup is really about bringing that out of us, letting us experiment with that. A bunch of like-minded people coming together saying, you know, we can create a world, a place to try things out, to fail, to learn, and we want to keep it going. So we're bringing it to Poland. A lot of people have questions, what actually happens there? So we had participants from Stone Soup in California take selfie videos of themselves explaining their experiences at Stone Soup. Mm, all right. Stone Soup was a, a mind-blowing experience. My experience with Stone Soup was, it was absolutely incredible. Two days of meeting so many new people, having so many interesting conversations. From old and young, different types of designers, people who weren't even in the design world. Mm, all right. This is take two. Just gonna... Stone Soup is part social experiment, I guess, um, part skill share, and just part having fun with humans. Chocolate tastings and live action role play experiences to game design and improv workshops. Um, the whole weekend was just full of experiences. Uh, there were things that didn't even happen because there were so many people who were interested in in designing and staging experiences for each other. One of my favorite parts was the meals. And these weren't just any meals. My favorite part of Stone Soup was the baby cow. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, one of my fondest memories from Stone Soup uh, was, I think, the second lunch. I don't think I've ever been birthed through a mattress before, before having to eat dinner, first as a toddler and then as a dignified adult in a fancy restaurant, which none of it really sounds like it makes a lot of sense until you had the experience, I suppose. But just trust me on the fact that it was pretty magical. Uh, one morning after breakfast, I was uh, asked if I wanted to participate in an experience. I was promptly blindfolded and uh, led around the house with a multi-sensory experience with my feet. The lunch was organized in such a way that everyone in the same barn was facing the wall. So we we're having having lunch, really good lunch, facing just the wall. And what, what this did for me was give me time and, and calm while in the same space with all these wonderful people. Somebody shared a LARP that we got to play in. Uh, someone shared a storytelling workshop where we got to tell our origin stories to each other. Um, someone shared a sense-making workshop. Um, I think there was a biting workshop at some point. I didn't get to go to that. I actually kind of regret that. I wish I had. The people that I met there are absolutely incredible, many of whom I've stayed in touch with and actually conspired and collaborated on some projects since Stone Soup. Have really not only helped me stretch myself as a person, but also have helped me professionally because I actually continue to draw inspiration from it uh, up until this day. The intentional planning of that spontaneous experience is a piece of magic that is unique. There's no event like it. I'm still in touch with a lot of the people that I met there and have been excited to see the creative things that they've collaborated on and would definitely recommend the experience to anyone. Ultimately, the things that I came out of Stone Soup were, you know, professional development, personal development. There was a, a huge spiritual piece that came out of it. I think that, you know, the just the, the biggest payoff um, was the, the relationships and the strength of the relationships and the fact that, you know, I'm definitely going to the next one. Did I mention the baby 